Now, mm. what are we talking about today? So we're talking about how to split your training during the week. Like, you know, a lot of people have been asking like, yo, what, how do you guys split your training? Do you do chest on Mondays, um, legs on, on Tuesdays, back on Wednesdays, all that other stuff. Um, just, just gonna answer you guys question real quick. I do full body every day. Every time I work out, I try to hit every single part of the body. And you sure about that, bro? Yeah. You kind of looking, oh, oh, wait, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, he not playing. Oh, he's not joking, my fault, bro. Yeah, oh, Central, man, Cartel. Go Capone, go Capone, yeah. I didn't mean to call you out like that. Yeah, bro. Okay, okay. But um, I think they believe you too. Yeah. We do full body every day, you know. I do focus on specific muscles, like chest days would be on a Monday, of course, and I'll focus more on chest, but I still would hit the leg somehow, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, whatever you want to say. Like, okay, quick example. My chest day workouts, my warm up, would be a burpee, a push-up burpee. Y'all know burpees work full body. Always hit the legs. So somewhere, just same thing on a leg day. I would warm up with like a, a five, the, you know, the five minute drill. Everybody talks about the, the 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups in five minutes. That would be my warm up on a leg day. Like, I, I, and that's not how it is on every leg day. Like I said, I just switch things up, but I always hit full body because we're not training for hypothesis. Mm -hmm. right? We train for strength, endurance. We train for everything. I agree with Bam 100%. As, uh, you know, doing more calisthenics, people ask, yo, how do you know when to train? Let me get out of the path real quick. People are like, how do you know how, when to train, like, chest or legs or whatever? As a calisthenics person, we don't really train muscle groups. We train movements. And what I mean by that, horizontal pushing, horizontal pulling, vertical pushing, vertical pulling, hip dominant, knee dominant. So once you're focusing on the movement patterns, you're never gonna neglect a muscle group ever. Exactly. And like Bam said, I train full body when I do train. I don't train every day anymore, but when I do train, I train full body. So just like Bam said, you have an emphasis on a specific part of the body on a specific day. Does that make sense? Exactly. That makes sense. I know that yep. makes sense to y'all. So. Like you said, for example, if it's a leg day, you're gonna focus on sure. specifically doing legs at the beginning, or not not even just at the beginning. Another way to structure it is like doing power, doing um, assistance and doing core exercises. So if exactly. you understand you know, those type of stuff, then you understand, focus on doing the power first, then you do the core exercises, and then you end with the assistance. So as uh, mainly, we're, t we're addressing calisthenics people here, as a calisthenics person, we focus on training more of the movement patterns than we would focus on actually training a muscle group. If you're training for hypotrophy, you wanna make sure you're getting what's called psychoplasmic hypotrophy. Psychoplasmic hypotrophy is a ton of volume and that's what you're trying to do. Psychoplasmic hypotrophy, getting the, 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 the muscles to swell. That's what you wanna do if you're getting on stage, really emphasize on growing those muscle groups. That's not what we're focusing on. Now, don't get me wrong, we do incorporate these different styles of training into our regime. And that's what I would recommend if you're doing cow studies, that's what I would recommend that you do as well. So that way, like I said, if you're training movements, horizontal pushing, pulling, vertical pushing, pulling, hip dominant, de -nom um, knee dominant, you're never going to miss a muscle group ever. So especially as a beginner, like throughout the week, you're like, okay, let me focus on doing vertical pushing, vertical pulling on Monday, then horizontal pushing, horizontal pulling on Tuesday and things like that. Structure it that way. And that way you're never gonna miss um, you're never gonna miss a muscle group. Now I do have something, the Fitness Journals LLC and Bam Bam. There we go. Can I be in the vlog? You can, you can. What's going on? Wow. Yeah, they working out, they getting the sweat. Yeah. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. They taking notes from the Fitness Journals. All right, so guys, like I said, in a nutshell, we always wanna, thank you. You always wanna, the Fitness Journals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so like I said, we always want to end with a specific action step. So the specific action step is look at a, your complete to tomorrow. All right. <laughs> um, like I was saying now, 
the action step. You want to make sure you're not neglecting any movement or any muscle because you don't want to start experiencing structural imbalance. And what structural imbalance is, you're going to, let's say, all you focus on is doing push-ups. What's going to happen? There's something called adaptive shortening. Your chest will begin to tighten, tighten, tighten. The muscle of the back will, will loosen up and you're going to get what's called kyphosis, the rounding of the shoulders, improper posture. You don't want that. As you get older, you're going to see you starting to get hunched back. You're going to have a lot of pain there. You don't want that. So going into your, in, into your workout, always know you need balance balance don't do too much pushing don't too much do too much pulling all these things have to be balanced this is why i say full body almost every day because a lot of people ask how do we train for skill you know because you know us calisthenics dudes it's not about the, the physique mm -hmm. it's more about okay how long you can hold the front lever mm -hmm. um how many muscle ups you can do mm -hmm. how long you can hold a, a human a, flag a human flag we do handstand push-ups like fucking every single day guys so there's no way in hell that we don't do full body you know? and and that is again targeting the, the muscles of the shoulders exactly. the traps all you know, those we things train for functional stuff you know we want to hop over two cars exactly you know what i'm saying so it's like this that's exactly why we do full body we train for you know functional for life yeah, we for train life. for like to for get life. around yeah. Yeah, in the real world to, you know um fall off a building you want to be able you know, to pull yourself yeah, over pull myself up so you know we do practice pull push and um, legs every day. You know, we focus, like I said before. And also, know your body, like know your fitness goal. You know, some people want a bigger chest. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe you should do a lot more push-ups. But like he said earlier, be careful. You know, you don't want more, more um, one side to be more dominant than the other side, you know. I'm, I'm actually like, a, I could make it, I could say a good example. I, like I feel some type of pain in my knees mm -hmm. nowadays because I know I squat quad dominance. Then I then I do um deadlifts, leg Romanian deadlifts. You know, so I, I got more quads than than hamstring. So you guys want to be careful. Like always make sure like there's a good perfect symmetry. Yeah, and I want to add on that what yep. you just said there. Talking about the quad dominance, I did experience a injury to my patella because. I, that's what I was doing. I was only doing squats and my, my, my quads began to become overactive. My, my hamstrings were not because I was never doing anything that was focusing on my hamstrings. And the way I solved this problem is for six months, almost to a year, I didn't really do any squats. Yes, I was doing supportive exercises for the small muscles around the knee. Um, but the main thing I was focusing on was strengthening, strengthening my ham, hamstrings. That's the major thing, my glutes and my hamstrings. And because I did that, I was able to come back from having crazy knee pain to being able to squat like well the last thing time we did together yeah. with four plates yes. you know for reps so that just goes to show that your body look your body will look to will adapt as best it can but if you push it to the extreme there's no coming back yes you know and you don't want to do that yeah. so the key thing is make sure you have a plan you need structure you can't just go in and then hope you be like hmm what did i do two days ago did i do chest did i did and then you're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again yeah. don't guess have a plan and i'm not saying you need some crazy scientific plan yeah. right out okay today i did push-ups i did this amount of push-ups track it that way you look yeah. you know what you're doing yes that's the thing so you can look back three weeks ago did i do blah 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 and you're like man i haven't done this for three weeks yep common sense right it yep. sounds common sense but that's what we're here for to teach you guys i'll just give you guys a quick example of how i kind of structure because that's what you guys actually asked for, how I structure my routine. So I'm just going to be fair and give you guys. Yes. So I, I'll just make a quick example. I'll say like on a regular week, it's four days. You know, like I personally don't have time to train five to six days like I used to. Mm -hmm. But I'll give good examples. Let's say it's four days for the week, right? So a Monday would be chess. Remember, guys, I'm just focusing on chess, but I'm still going to do some pulls. Mm -hmm. You know, let's say I, I, I'll do a tricep like push-ups, dips, and um, and um, bench, and um, yeah, bench dips, mm -hmm. you know, to hit the chest and triceps, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I'll, I'll do another, the, the next workout will be a, uh, a superset with chest and pull-ups, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Still hitting the chest, but hitting the pull-ups, same thing. I'll superset the, the chest with the heavy squats, mm -hmm. you know, still hitting the full body, but just main focus is chest. Same thing, the next day would be leg day, the same strategy, you know that he just yeah yep. exactly next day would be back so when i do chest i'm hitting chest and triceps um chest and triceps um when i'm hitting back it's back and biceps because we do pull-ups mm -hmm. pull-ups on um, back and bicep 
and the fourth the fourth day will be shoulders and um, abs. So you're like, not missing anything. Yep, you hit missing, everything. Yep. And honestly, guys, people might ask, what about arms? Do you have an arm day? Every day is arm day. When For you real. Do when you do calisthenics. When you do, that's why I say do calisthenics, man. You can't go wrong. Do everything else. <laughs> You ain't lying. Every time, <laughs> trust me, man. Every every day is arm day when you do calisthenics. For real, literally. If you're just doing pull ups, you're working you're arms. You're working your biceps. If you're just doing push ups, you're, you're working, working your, your triceps. triceps yeah. You know, every day is arm day when you do and forearms day too. Mm -hmm. Forearms, especially gripping on the bar. Exactly, which is very true. Look, you're not limited. People t tend to think that you're when you're doing calisthenics. You're like, how many things can you do in calisthenics? Push ups, pull ups, squats. That's it. No, there's so many different things. You get creative. So as now you progress doing pipe push-ups, doing handstand push-ups, doing pistol squats, doing you know unilateral exercises, things like that. So you're having fun. You have so many different exercises that you could be performing. People who, who tend to begin calisthenics, they have dominance on one side. They'll be like, oh, my, my left arm is stronger than my right arm. Especially if you came from like weightlifting. When you get into calisthenics, you'll quickly learn that, oh, your things will kind of balance out. It is true. But even if you should take the initiative to try and do unilateral exercises, simple as that. Take a day to do that, and then you get into weighted calisthenics, and then that's how you become a beast like Bam Bam. Yep, yep, yep. You know? Yo, guys, don't forget. Hold this one. I got you, I got you, bro. I got you. Don't forget to what, bro? Smash that subscribe oh, oh. button. Mm -hmm. Smash that mm -hmm. like button. Mm -hmm. Smash that share mm -hmm. button. Guys, mm -hmm. leave a comment below. Mm -hmm. Let us know what video you guys want to post next. Turn on that post notification. And guys, really smash that button. My chest hurt. For real. Like, seriously, man. And I'm out of here. That's it. That's My it. My chest hurt. It's not fair if y'all don't subscribe. <laughs> it's not fair. Man. That's painful. Not Sorry, fair, Bam. Bro. Sorry, Bam. It's not fair. It's that conscious shit. Boy, back in my day. Was conscious, niggas was getting whipped by the slave master. We ain't had time to be conscious, niggas. We was conscious of the fact we was gonna ass beat. Check, check, check. New rules. <laughs>